Joining me now, West Virginia State Senate Majority Leader Mitch Carmichael, a Donald Trump supporter. Senator Carmichael, good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. It's great to be with you. And Thank you, you for having me this morning. You say, you say West Virginia is turning red, a red state. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, clearly we're turning red. We have uh, voted uh, uh, Republican in the past several presidential elections, and I can promise you that we will this year. With the selection of uh, or the choice between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump, it is a clear and unmistakable easy choice for the citizens of West Virginia. Wow. We want to put our people back to work. Yeah, you want to put your people back to work, and do you believe that Donald Trump has the way to do it? We've been having a debate on this set about some of his recent comments, whether it be related to debt, the $19 trillion in debt in America, or taxes, uh, wages. But you think he's got a solid plan to create jobs? I believe he has a solid plan, and I believe Hillary Clinton has expressed her you know, very solid plan against the coal industry in West Virginia. It is, it's such a clear contrast that the, uh, the choice is almost anything but Hillary Clinton. Uh, we believe in uh, Donald Trump. I'm a Donald Trump supporter. I believe he has the right message for West Virginia and for uh, really for the country. Right. But uh, it's clear that what Hillary Clinton has said as it relates to coal in West Virginia and the fossil fuel industry and really just in general, uh, the, uh, her uh, attitude towards government programs versus uh, putting people back to work. Yeah. Uh, I can tell you, Maria, that it's just not going to sell here in West Virginia. Mark Serrano. You know, Senator, uh, I think that uh, Hillary Clinton's attack on coal was a defining moment for her in this race. I think it was very calculated. I think she was playing to the environmental left. Uh, in her decision, but really, I think she sort of kicked states like West Virginia and, cut, and Kentucky to the curb by doing so. What are the things you think Trump will need to do for the industry if he's elected? Well, and this isn't just about the coal industry. I want to make that clear: is that there are so many other factors yeah, that uh, come into the the pro yeah to the prosperity of West Virginia. There are many other factors, but. For uh, Donald Trump to really capture the hearts and minds and souls of West Virginia, he wants to, uh, he needs to say that the EPA will be, uh, you know, regulated in the right perspective, that we won't have this overregulation and use government regulation to do legis what can't be done legislatively. So that's a, that's a great point for the people of West Virginia to look at. And we see that. We see through all those uh, comments that she's made. And, yeah, but Senator, what, what specifically, I mean, uh, just as a foreign observer, uh, there's a lot of general, and the same thing happens in British elections as well. There's a lot of general, generalities talked about. What specifically, what specifically would you do? Well, what I would say is that uh, at a presidential level, when you become so ingrained in the, the wonkiness of the exact policy, we need to step back from that and take a broad view of the perspective that a candidate has. Uh, and what I would say to you is, uh, without regard to specifics, that there is a general feeling, a more uh, uh, capitalistic, uh, uh, free market capitalism aspect to Donald Trump versus the specific, unique uh, policy wonkiness of, uh, of a Hillary Clinton or someone <laughs> in that vein. And it just it, it, we see through that. I think it, uh, we want someone who has a general, um, you know, attitude towards free market capitalism. Right. And, well, that's um, the thing. I mean, yeah, but but forgive me, but there's nothing specific there. I mean, this is the, the if if I was a voter in West Virginia, I would be looking for specifics. And I think this is the the thing that bedevils political campaigns of on both sides of the Atlantic is the lack of specific policy. And when I say to you, what, what would you do in West Virginia, yeah. in the coal industry and whatever, you, what you say is it's about a general view about the merits of capitalism. That, that's general stuff. That will not deal with the specific problems of people being out of work. What specifically would you get? Well, he's saying small government. He's well, saying well, lower no, no, regulation. No, but, but yeah. Again, Maria, with all due respect, that's, that's, that's you know, apple pie motherhood. That's not a specific measures that you would ask the president or a new government or a changing government to achieve. What I heard you say is roll well, back uh, the EPA regulations in terms of coal, but what senator well, are, you, are you looking sure. for in terms of specifics? Yeah. Well, well, let me say, when you hear one candidate, and, and she was in the party of Barack Obama, when he says, we will not, you will not be able to build new coal-fired power plants because of the regulation, we will bankrupt you and put you out of business. Now, if you're asking me to say, give me a specific how uh, we're going to move forward away from that, what I would say to you, sir, is that 
let's reject that attitude. I mean, we have to reject that sort of uh, mentality and that sort of uh, policy. Uh, and so when one comes and says, we want to put you back to work, we want to lessen the regulatory schemes of the EPA, and we will not do regulatory-wise what is we are unable to do legislatively. And those are the things that Donald Trump has said. So from a specific perspective, we would say anything, any regulatory schemes that you want to put forth have to be adopted legislatively through the Congress and adopted by the president. Well, that has yeah. not yeah. been the mode of okay. the previous administration or the current administration. All right. We will leave it there. Senator, good to have you on the program this morning. Thanks so much. It's great to be here on this wonderful election day. Thank you for being, <laughs> allowing Senator me to be Carmichael, on the show. We'll be watching. Thank you so much. Thanks